this is it. Day 10, final day of the fecal microbiota transplant. Um, sorry, I didn't make a video on days eight and nine. I've actually been feeling so good that I've been so busy uh, that at the end of the day, I don't feel like making a video. So uh, if that tells you anything, that's a good thing. Uh, really haven't, I mean, I've just kind of been living life normally. Um, still doing really good. Um, one, two bowel movements a day. A um, couple things uh, might be interested in. I'm trying to taper off of my steroids really fast, which uh, most people would frown on that, but I'm tired of taking them. Uh, so I think getting them off, getting off of them so fast has kind of led to, I mean, I've had some side effects get real tired um, at like a weird time, like six o'clock in the evening, it's like I have to fall asleep for like an hour, 30 minutes. And then I get back up and then kind of go back to sleep. Still not sleeping really well, and steroids probably, but overall I'm doing so much better than what I was doing 11 days ago. Um, not take, I haven't been taking any of the anti-spasm, diarrheal medicine, uh, you know, not taking any of that stuff, which, you know, that stuff's got codeine in it, so, you know, stopping that abruptly when I've been on it solid for a month, you know, do, probably dealing with a lot of side effects, but I feel so good that, you know, the crappy side effects, I'm still really not, they're really not phasing, I still feel so much better. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other good information. Um, I've, I've never been able to hold it in, hold the enema in for four to six hours like you're supposed to. Um, I'm good for about two or three hours and I can't sleep. Like I'll, I'll toss and turn and I'll feel like I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I hold it off and it goes away and it just like, Finally, I just get exhausted and go to, the go to the bathroom, let it all out, and then I can go to sleep. So, um, anyway, I think I was maybe doing a little bit too much volume. I bought like the extra large size enema bottles, and so I went to the four and a half ounce. Seemed to be a lot easier um, to retain them and just even the process of doing it is so much easier. Uh, yeah, if, if you decide to do this, the first one or two times that you do this is gonna be really tough. Making it is really tough. Um, you know, if you're interested in knowing how I do it, I've, I've come up with a pretty easy way to do it. I've, I've got all the tools to do it. I'll let you know what those are if you wanna know. Um, you know, just shoot me an email or something or leave a comment on one of my videos or something and I'll get back to you. But, um, yeah, day 10 tonight, this will be my, this will be my final daily enema. Um, and then probably after this, I'll probably give it a couple days rest and then I'll start on like a two, you know, doing it twice a week. Um, that was kind of the doctor's order, so I'm going to give that a shot. Um, oh yeah, another thing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading. Apparently a lot of people get really bad gas while they're doing the fecal transplant, uh, which I have as well. Really bad. Worst, worst I've ever had in my life, for sure. I mean, just horrible and frequent. But, you know, the science says that that's a good thing that, you know, bacteria is populating, um, you know, science, 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 whatever, but it's pretty bad, uh, but worth it, still worth it. Uh, anyway, um, I'll keep, you know, I'll post a video a week or so, um, 
you know, just giving updates on how I'm doing. Um, you know, especially after I take that week of just doing it twice, I'll post a video and, you know, let you guys know how I'm doing and then we'll just go from there. Um, so, overall, unbelievable success. Um, you know, for me, I've been, I guess you could say, the 25% of people that have just had overwhelming results. Um, try it. I know it's gross, but it's worth it. Um, it gets better after a couple of days. It's not so, it's not so gross. It's not so, you know, mentally and emotionally just paralyzing. It gets better. Uh, don't give up. Stick with it. Try it. Before you have surgery, try it. Before you get on crazy medicine, try it. Do this, do this first. I didn't, I didn't know about it, didn't know about it for five years, which I wish I would have known about it from the day that I started my first symptom, but that's how it is. Anyway, good luck everybody. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help any way that I can. Um, didn't really want to give out the instructions and the recipe for this whole thing on the on YouTube, so you know I will. If you're interested in that, I'll walk you through that personally, over the phone, over email, or whatever, whatever I can do to help. I'd be happy and love to do that. So, good luck, guys, and I will see you guys in a couple days.